Good morning to everyone out there in Ambit land. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Tyler, Texas. I hope you're having a great day. The conditions are perfect for working your Ambit business this weekend. I applaud you for getting on to our webinar this morning. Um, I know we all have other things that we could be doing, um, but it's it's great that you've taken a few minutes out of your your busy life to join us here to learn more about your Ambit business. Uh, the training this morning will focus on the 30-day fast break training system uh, for Team 212. Uh, this is aimed at new MCs, getting them uh, jump started and going in their business. But also, uh, I noticed a few seasoned consultants uh, in the in the room with us today. Uh, <clears throat> it never hurts to keep learning, guys, because the more times that you're exposed to this. Um, sometimes uh, something said maybe in a different way and it resonates with you and you have what we call your your aha moment um, and you may have heard the same thing you know a hundred times before and then somebody says it a little bit differently and it resonates with you that's why we always encourage you to listen to different trainings and different trainers and and sometimes things will, will resonate with you um, we're going to get started this morning uh, going through this this fast break training uh, there is a uh, just want to call your attention to the chat box that you should see to your right there as we go along here um, let's try not to uh, fill that up with with chatter but if you do have some questions this is an open forum uh, please type your questions in there and, and uh, we'll try to get those answered for you as we go along through here okay um, the first thing in working your Ambit business is to determine why you are working this business. I hope you have pen and paper with you because what I'd like for you to do right now is simply write out your why in one to two sentences. Um, you're going to need to memorize what your why is. Uh, for example, um, one of my, my main whys, and, and and you may have more than one, I do, I certainly do, but my, my main why that keeps me focused on this business uh, is my eight month old grandson. Uh, I want him to be able to go to the college of his choice and not the one that, that his parents can afford to send him to. I also want to secure his future uh, and generations after him to come, because uh, that's what this business is. It's, it's really about, um, securing your family's uh, current situation plus your future situation you know you, you your why may be you have a lot of credit card debt that you need to pay off if that's what it is then certainly write that down uh, maybe spending more time with your family that is an, an additional why of mine because uh, the last 20 years in tyler i've owned a business that has consumed a lot of my time and, and it's kept me away from my family so by starting an AMID business and being able to earn a few extra dollars a month, it took a little pressure off of me financially so I didn't have to work as hard in that other business. Um, as a business owner, I also didn't save for retirement. Um, so, you know, these, you can have multiple wives. Pick the one that's, that, that you can focus on because, uh, you're going to get told no a lot in this business. Uh, I've been told no by friends, family, uh, just, you know, most of the people that you talk to are going to tell you no. Um, this is, this is the, the reason that's going to keep you focused on building your Ambit business. This is a very, very, very important uh, foundation uh, of your business. So every day when I get up, I have my grandson's picture taped to the bathroom mirror. So I see his picture and I think about the nose that I got the day before. And when I see that picture, it just empties my mind out. And I'm once again focused on what I need to do today to build my business and, and, and stay focused on the future. Um, so determine what your why is, write it down, be able to tell somebody what your why is in one to two sentences and we'll come back to that in just a little bit um another, the next 
uh, important aspect of working your business is going to be your written list. Guys, you must have a written list. You cannot keep your written list in your head. Uh, it's a proven scientific fact that you just cannot keep up with, with all the information about each contact that you need to remember up in your head. You have probably four or five, maybe 10 people in your head. When you write them down on a piece of paper, you empty your mind, you clear, clear your mind out so you can think of other names. Um, you need to have at least 100 names when we get started. I've had people tell me I don't know 100 people. Well, if you'll go to ambitteam212.com and click on training tools and then documents, there is a comprehensive memory jogger in there. Download that memory jogger, open it up, and it's going to ask you questions like, who do you know named Alan? Who do you know named Brian? Who do you know named Susan? Um, sit there and think about each one of these names as you're going through it. Um, and we're talking about anybody that you've ever known in your entire life with those names, write them down. If you don't know their number, that's okay. Just write their name down. You can come back and, and figure all that out later. Um, another easy thing to do is to get a piece of paper, draw a cross on it, separating that page into four quadrants. Uh, what we're going to do is title each quadrant. The first one will be family. The second one will be friends. The third one will be acquaintances and coworkers. And the fourth one will be successful people. Write down as many people as you can in those four categories. I can usually sit down with a brand new consultant and say, okay, write down 10 family members. They can usually do that. I say, write down 10 friends. They can usually do that. Write down 10 acquaintances or uh, co-workers. They can usually do that. And say, write down 10 successful people. Most of them get close to 10 the first time. But I mean, right off the bat, there's 40, and you haven't even used the memory jogger yet. Uh, the memory jogger will also ask you questions like, who's your plumber? Who's your doctor? Who's your dentist? Um, um, you can think of, uh, you know, who's the receptionist? At your at your dentist office, uh, we run across people all the time in everyday life, um, and you just need to make sure that you write everyone down. Keep that list with you at all times. If you're serious about working this business, keep this list on you at all times. When you go out to the restaurant to eat lunch or dinner, and you look over there and you see somebody that you know, uh, add them to your list. Um, go over and chat with them, re reacquaint yourself with them. If you haven't seen them in a while, get their contact information. Um, you may see somebody that looks like somebody, you know, and, and it just jogs your memory. Uh, I mean, I've, we're in, in everyday life and situations, uh, things occur that help us remember things that have been locked in the memory vault for a very, very long time. So, that's why it's important to keep that written list with you at all times. Then you're going to want to keep accurate notes as we walk each uh, person on your list, as we walk them through the AMBIT proven system, you're going to need to keep accurate notes about what, uh, what, what all the process as we take them through there. Um, when you do an invitation, you're going to need to write down the date that you did the invitation and, and how you did it. Um, this this helps us remember to follow up, which is incredibly important in this business. We must always follow up. Did you set an appointment with them? How did they look at the business? Um, this all this stuff cannot be remembered in your head for, in in this case, a hundred people. I mean, you just cannot remember all of those facts. Okay, things will start getting jumbled up. Write it down, please. Also on our website, there is a spreadsheet there that you can download to that will help you keep up with this. Um, it's called IPV Worksheet. IPV stands for Invitation, Presentation, and Validation. Um, and it is available in PDF format. It's also available as a spreadsheet. If you're a techie guy uh, like me and, and, and Brian Jones, we tend to keep up with our, our list on the, um, on the computer. Uh, with 
the spreadsheet. It's a whole lot easier uh, for me to keep up with it that way. But uh, written list is, is great. This is, this is the inventory for your business, and the more people you have on there, the better, okay? Um, it's been said that goals um, that are not written down are just wishes. And I wholeheartedly believe that, guys, if you want to make your, your goal a reality, you need to write it down and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Um, this is just part of the mindset that you need when you're going into work this business, okay? Now, once you know what your goal is, uh, we're going to show you how the 526 system with Ambit can help you achieve that goal, okay? Um, let's talk real briefly about what 526 is. Uh, the five stands for five personal customer points, okay? Ambit is fair. They give us two personal customer points for those websites that we're paying for every month, okay? So you can change your own electricity over. That's one. It is legal to be your own customer in Ambit. And then we get two other people to change their electricity over, maybe your mom and dad or your aunt and uncle or a uh, brother, sister, cousin, uh, and once they change their electricity over, you'll have a total of five points. So that satisfies the first prerequisite of 526. Uh, the two stands for two personally sponsored consultants. Um, as you're working this business and sharing this business with others, you're going to find people that, that want to work this business with you. So this just simply means you're going to personally sponsor two consultants into your business. The six part of it stands for a total team of six. Um, the six does include the two personally sponsored consultants. Now underneath the uh, 526 graphic that you see there is a, a, a two possible scenarios for how that could happen. The one on the left, of course, we've got two, you, you personally sponsor two, and then each of those new consultants goes out and duplicates what you did. Uh, that is a, you know, what we would call a perfect matrix. The one on the right is a little bit less conventional. Uh, you may personally sponsor three consultants. You see the guy in the middle there, he personally sponsored his two, and then the guy on the right personally sponsored one. That's a still a total team of six. Now, you know, in my case, when I first got started in this business, I had to sponsor all six. So, it's, there's a number of, of different ways that this can happen. But when you do 526, you will get, you'll earn your first promotion to regional consultant and um, unlock unlimited depths and income, okay? Uh, so this is very important to get done. Um, but we also like to show you in a monetary fashion uh, how you can achieve your goals. For instance, I only needed about 400 bucks a month extra to... Uh, when I first started my business to help me make ends meet and get out of the red and into the black uh, in our, my personal financial situation. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, for, for now, I know that Ambit has double bonus going on right now. So all I have to do to come up with 400 bucks a month uh, using the 526 system is personally sponsor two consultants per month and teach them how to achieve double bonus. And by doing that, they get 200 bucks a piece. I'm gonna get a matching 200 bucks from Ambit, uh, totaling 400 bucks for the month. So all we have to do is keep in mind that whatever promotion is going on, uh, it's just a, it's, it's a quick, simple math to figure out what we've gotta do for that month to achieve our monetary goal. Uh, for the month, okay? Um, <clears throat> your first check uh, is quite simple. The first, the first thing is, remember we talked about points for, um, uh, for promotion just a minute ago. Those same points are going to get you your first check. This is how. And it's going to give you one point when you sign your electricity up. <clears throat> They're going to give you the two points whenever you uh, set up your business building websites. That's a total of three. All you have to do is gather one more customer. Mom, dad, aunt, uncle, doesn't matter. Just one more customer within your first 28 days 
and you're going to get your first bonus of one hundred dollars okay since we're under double bonus if you add two more customers in your first 28 days you can make an additional one hundred dollars totaling two hundred dollars in your first month we've got the open enrollment going on right now so the 429 is waived for consultants coming in all they're having to pay is twenty six dollars and sixty cents for their business building websites and uh, that's it. And guys, I mean, if you put in four customers in 28 days, that's $200 to you. And each consultant that you bring in, uh, you're going to duplicate that with them. You're going to teach them how to do the exact same thing. And when they duplicate that, they're going to get $200. You're going to get a matching $200. So during your first 28 days, if you get your four points, you add two consultants, you teach them how to, how to work this business and, and get their four points. There's a quick $600, and that's not bad money on a, on a simple $25 investment. Um, but everything in your business uh, comes down to, to this step right here. Um, we, th the fast break system is designed to teach you everything on the fly, okay? When I first started this business, one of the mistakes that I made was I thought that I needed to know everything about Ambit. And it's it, because I thought I needed to know how to answer questions. And it, it simply is not that way. Uh, your ignorance will play into your favor uh, in the beginning by not knowing this stuff because you're going to have to ask for help from your sponsor and from your other leaders in the area. Uh, and when you do that, I promise your business will take off. So it's just a few simple steps that we have to that we have to follow. And if you'll do it exactly the way that we teach it, I promise you this business will remain duplicatable for you and your business will take off. You just have to pick up the phone call and do this step right here with a brief invitation. The people that we've added to our list, uh, we're going to um, call them up and do a very, very brief invitation. There's a, there's a few basic parts of the invitation I wanna go over with you first. Uh, the first thing is we're always going to want to be in, in a hurry. Um, and the line that you see there, it says, do you have a quick minute for me, establishes that in your invitation, okay? The reason that we want to be in a hurry is because we don't want to answer questions. Um, when we start answering questions, uh, you, have, you have left the AMBIT system and you're out, of, out there on your own. Uh, this part of the system your your only job in this scenario is that you need to get people you want to get people to take a look at the business you're not trying to get them to sign up okay so knowing that mentality going into it uh, would have made it a lot easier on me in the beginning but I was just a little hard-headed if I had done this from the get-go um, there's no telling where my business would be now um, but always be in a hurry because you don't want to answer any questions your job is to do the invitation uh, it's Ambit's job to show them the business and to also get their questions answered and I'll show you how just here in, here in just a second um, you're also you the next part of it you see it says I have something very exciting that I love to share with you because and it says insert your why right there uh, remember a while ago I told you to write down your why on a piece of paper in one to two sentences this is what this is where we're going to need that um, it's very simple for me to insert mine right there uh, because i tend to focus on my grandson and his uh his future in in college um i thought of you because and we're going to insert a genuine compliment right there and we joke all the time say if, if you don't you know if the person that you're talking to if you can't think of something good to say about them then you probably don't want them in your business anyway but um, think of something good to say about the person that you are inviting if they were a business owner you could say something like you know you've been in business for uh, a, a long time in the area and i really respect that about you you've been successful and, and and i just want to lean on your professional experience um, if it was your high school buddy you can say man we've known each other since high school and i really respect your opinion okay uh, just a genuine compliment that you can that you can insert right there 
would you do me a favor? Asking for the favor is another important part right there. Um, setting the appointment is those last two down there. We're going to set an appointment by asking those questions. Um, may I stop by your house? This is always going to be the preferred method. If you can get in front of somebody, um, this tends to speed the process up. You can uh, you know for sure that they've seen it because you go over to their house, pop in a DVD, and you know they've seen it, right? Uh, when you're inviting someone over the phone and asking them to take a look at the website, we don't always know that they're that they're they're looking at it. Um, so it's it's definitely the the preferred method to go over to their house, okay? Uh, and then the last thing is, and, and I need to add that on here, but the last, the last step is shut up. Once we do all this, we're going to shut up. Uh, we're not going to answer any questions at this point, okay? Um, that is the reason for being in a hurry so you can get off of the phone, okay? So real quickly, this is how one an invitation might play out using this template right here. And guys, when you're first starting out, this template works works fine. You do this for the first two or three people, and uh, as you become more comfortable with it, you can modify it slightly to, to suit your personality, okay? Um, but it, it's perfectly fine to just read this thing verbatim. It, it works. Uh, I recommend that you write down your invitation, the basic parts of it. Write down what you're going to say to your prospect before you call them. If you um, and I highly encourage that you call your sponsor or call someone in leadership and practice your invitation before you deliver that invitation. Um, if you, for instance, uh, most people know my cell phone number. Anyone's welcome to call me. Um, and all you have to do is say, hey, Brian, how you doing today? I'm going to say, I'm great. How are you? And then the next thing is, you just say, do you have a quick minute for me? And when you say that, I know exactly what you're doing. I will play along with your invitation. And at the end of it, um, if there's some constructive criticism that I can give, I will. Or, I, you know, I may say, hey, that's perfect. Do, uh, call them right now. Um, I know that the phone can weigh, seem like it weighs 200 pounds sometimes while it's sitting there. And you're going to play these scenarios out about what's going to be said and what this person's going to say. And um, I'll just tell you this, nine times out of 10, you're going to be wrong. The scenario is going to play out much differently from what you think and, and, and the way that you imagine it in your head. Okay. So we just pick up the phone, practice our invitation and then call that prospect and, and do the, do the invitation. The reason that I ask you to write down your invitation is so you can remember what you were going to say to that prospect. If we call that prospect up and, and the answering machine comes on, um, all we're going to do is leave a quick message about, you know, Hey Bob, I got something really exciting. I want to ask you about, give me a call back, click, hang up. We don't say anything about ambit or, uh, electricity or energy or anything like that. Uh, just leave them a quick message to get them to call you back. Well, what if it's tomorrow before they call you back? Now you don't remember what you were going to say to them, but if you've got it written down, and you have this stuff with you at all times, you can quickly flip it open and there's your invitation that you were gonna uh, say to that person. So uh, this template may work out something like this and I'll just use my fictitious name, Bob. But hey, Bob, how are you today? He's gonna say, man, I'm great, how are you? I'm gonna say, hey, that's great. Uh, Bob, do you have a quick minute for me? He's gonna say, uh, sure, yeah, I've got a quick minute for you. Great. I have something very exciting that I'd love to share with you because I'm trying to save up some money for my grandson's college fund because we want him to be able to go to the college of his choice and not just, you know, a local college because that's all we can afford. Uh, I thought of you because you've been a business owner in, in, in the East Texas area for many, many years. You've been very successful as a business owner, and I really respect that about you. And I know you'll give me some honest feedback. Would you do me a favor? And he's going to say yes. And when Bob says yes, then I'm going to say, great, Bob, can I stop by your house for about 30 minutes? He's going to say yes. Now, here's the important part. We're going to set an appointment for that to happen. I'm going to say, are you? what time are you going to be home this afternoon? And he may say, well, I'll get home about six. 
I said, great, Bob, can I stop by about 6.30 or would 7 be better? And he'll say, well, uh, probably 7 would be better. Give me a chance to get settled in. And I'm going to say, great, Bob, I'll see you then. Click, hang up. Don't say another word. That is the inv end of the invitation, okay? Um, if he wasn't local, if this was somebody that, that's, you know, I live in Tyler, so let's say it's it's a prospect that I'm calling in Dallas. I, I simply would have said, are you next to your computer or laptop? And if they say yes, then I say, okay, open up a browser. And I, I give them my web address and have them bring up the website. Um, if they're not in front of a computer or laptop, I just say, great, when are you going to be in front of your computer or laptop? And it's the same thing. They'll give you a time. I might be home about six o'clock this evening and I'll say, great, would, could I call you at seven or would 7.30 be better? Um, there's a funny thing that happens when you give people a choice like that, they pick one. If you leave it up to them, the appointment will never get set. They will put it off and put it off and put it off. So uh, this is your business. You need to work it like your hair's on fire and you need to take control of that situation and and get it in front of them as soon as possible. We just want to get to a yes or a no. Either one is a good answer, okay? Um, <clears throat> so the next part of that is uh, once you know that you have an appointment, um, Bob has agreed to let me come by his house tonight at, say, 7 o'clock. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to send out a text message to my group uh, that I have in my phone called my validation group. If you do not have a validation group, uh, you can send a quick email to Coach Johnston. He has a list of uh, 15 or 16 people who have agreed to take three-way calls for the team. Uh, I'm on there. Uh, Brian Jones is on there. Lisa Pulliam is on there. A lot of great leaders are on there to help you build your business, okay? Uh, what you do is send out a group text to everyone and say, Hey, I've got a, uh, possible three way tonight at seven o'clock who is available. Uh, also identify yourself, uh, when you first start using this thing, you can just say like, Hey, this is, uh, this is Bill Smith. I am a, a part of, of Bob Jones's team, uh, under coach Johnston on team Two Twelve. You know, and then who is, uh, I have a possible three way at seven o'clock who would be available to help. Um, out of that many people, somebody is going to answer in the affirmative and tell you that they can do your three way call. Okay. So that'll bring us up to the next, to the next part of the proven system here is, uh, uh, the validation phase which is when you, let's say you go over to Bob's house uh, to do the presentation, what you're going to do is walk in with your Success From Home magazine because it has a DVD in the center of that magazine. If you do not have any magazines, uh, you should have had one that came with your welcome kit. If you need additional magazines, this is a very, very valuable tool. I suggest that you uh, send an email to Coach Johnston and ask him uh, how how he can get uh, some magazines to you because he has bundles of these magazines. Uh, this is a very, very important tool, okay? <clears throat> so you would walk into Bob's house with that magazine, pull that DVD out of the center, and just say, hey, Bob, where is your DVD player? And pop that DVD in, and you're going to sit down and watch this DVD presentation with Bob that's 16 minutes long. It is the exact same presentation that is on your website. Um, <clears throat> as soon as the presentation's over, you're going to turn to Bob and you're going to ask him two questions. The first question is, well, Bob, did that make sense? Guys, I've asked it hundreds of times and I've never had anyone say, no, it didn't make sense. It always makes sense. Everyone says, yes, it makes sense. The second question is, great, does that mean you're ready to get started? Bob's going to say yes, no, or he's going to have some questions. If he says yes, 
then simply sign him up. There is no need for a three-way call. There's no need to do anything else. And there certainly isn't a need for you to start talking about Ambit at that point. In fact, I usually change the subject and talk about something else. Um, because at this point, you're going to start inserting your knowledge of Ambit and, and statistical facts that make no difference to Bob at this point. So simply sign him up and then let's get him trained, okay? Uh, if he says no, if he's just an emphatic no right there, then I, I tend to try to make him a customer at that point. Um, you just say, okay, Bob, I understand this is not for everyone but you just saw uh, the video on the company. You, you can see that, that Ambit is a, is a great company with that, that's had explosive growth. It's a billion dollar company uh, with great leadership behind it. Could I count on you to be my customer? By looking at the presentation first, your chances of signing Bob up as a customer have now gone up to 80 or 90%. Whereas if you just call somebody up and ask them to be a customer, um, your chances of signing them up using that method are about 20 or 30%. So your chances are, are greatly improved by sharing the business with them first. And that's what we always like to do is, is the preferred method is to share the business first. Um, now the other scenario is, and, and this is the one that you will run across 80% of the time he's going to have some questions. He's going to look at you and you say, Bob, did that make sense? Yes. Does that mean you're ready to get started? And he'll be like, well, uh, you know, I don't, do people really make that kind of money? Okay. So Bob has questions. So that's, that is the reason that we set up a three-way call ahead of time. Um, so we have somebody standing by to answer these questions. It is not your job to answer these questions. Even if you know the answers, it is not your job to answer these questions, okay? This, this is the duplicatable part of our business. This is what will cause your business to explode if you will work things in this manner. Um, you're going to say, okay, I understand that, Bob. Hold that thought for just one second. And you're going to call your, um, your, your three-way validator that you set up previously, whoever it is that responded and said, yes, I can do your three-way call. Um, in this situation, it's, it's not really a three-way call because you're present. If you are on the phone with your prospect and you've called them back and it, you're, you're doing the same thing, you're just doing it over the phone instead of in person. Um, if you're on the phone with them, you just say, hold that thought for just one moment. Uh, and, and I never tell them what I'm doing. If you tell them that you're fixing to call somebody else, they're going to tell you, no, nah, I don't want to talk to anybody else. I don't tell them that. I just say, hold that thought for just a second, Bob. And I click them. I just hit on most phones. You can, uh, while you're on a call with someone, there's a button there that says add call. You just hit the add call button, call your three-way validator, uh, for this, uh, for, for, arguments or demonstration purposes, I'm going to say that Brian Jones is going to be the person that's doing my three-way call. So I'm going to call Brian Jones. And when Brian answers, I'm going to say, Hey, Brian, I've got my friend Bob on the, on the phone. He has taken a look at the presentation and, and he has a question about whether people can really make this kind of money. Um, <clears throat> and Brian's going to say, okay, great. Um, if you're not familiar with Brian, you can ask Brian at this point, Brian, how do you want me to introduce you? And Brian will tell you a few accolades of his and um, you can uh, write them down on a piece of paper so you can remember them. Um, and then what you're going to do is now that you have two phone calls established, you've got Bob on hold and you're on the phone with Brian. When you look at your phone again, now that add call button has become merge. So you hit the merge button and that brings the three parties together. Uh, if you're live and in person, you can simply just put it on speakerphone, okay? Um, but now you're you're going to say, hey, Brian, uh, Bob, are you still there? Bob says, yes, I'm still here. Bob, great, Bob. Um, Bob, I know you looked at the presentation. You had a few questions. I've got a, a business partner and mentor of mine on the phone. His name is Brian Jones. He is a uh, – uh, he's been – 
he's been featured in the Success from Home magazine. Uh, he is a Pure Energy Award winner, which is a, a, an award that's given to 12 top consultants out of all of Ambit each year. Um, he is a top leader and a top trainer in our area, and he's, he's been doing this a lot longer than, than I have, and he is better qualified to answer your questions. Um, and, and Brian, I've got my friend Bob here on the phone. He's been a business owner in, in the East Texas area for a long time. And uh, I really respect his opinion. He, he took a look at the video and he had a question about whether people are really making this kind of money. Um, and so, uh, Brian, you have the floor. And then at this point, your, your job is to, you know, follow that last tip that I gave you on the invitation screen. And that is to shut up. Um, and I don't mean that in a rude way, uh, but simply be quiet. You don't say another word until Brian or your validator gives you the floor back. Um, you're going to want to answer those questions. I understand that it's human nature. You're going to want to put your two cents in, but it's, it's not needed. Just let the system work. Brian knows how to answer those questions. Okay. And when Brian gives you that phone call back, uh, he's going to give it back to you with instructions on how to proceed with this prospect. If he tells you that this guy is a customer, then when you hang up the phone with him, sign the guy up as a customer. If he's uh, the guy's got his questions answered and he now becomes wants to become a consultant, that's that's the path that you're gonna take. If he's a, a an emphatic no to everything, uh, your validator will will help you establish that. Just take the path that that the validator gives you. Uh, when you get off of this, when you get off of this call, um, that is um, that is the basic steps to working our business. Um, what I would like for you guys to do that are in here today, uh, I'm not seeing any questions down here, which is um, which is good because I guess I'm hoping that you're all understanding it. Um, but what I would like for you to do when we get off of this webinar here in just a few minutes is I want you to take the top three people on your written list and I want you to write out an invitation for those three people. Okay. Um, my phone is on right now and, uh, there's other leaders who are available this weekend, write out your invitation, give me a call or give your sponsor a call or one of the other top leaders in our area, give them a call and let's, um, I want you to practice that invitation and let's see if we can get your top three people called in the next hour or two. Okay. Let's this open enrollment ends next Friday. You've got uh, seven days basically counting today to invite people so that they can take advantage of the open enrollment period. Um, so my advice to you is to work this business like your hair is on fire until Friday. Uh, we always tell you, you can work it part time, uh, and, and you certainly can, uh, the, but the, the circumstances that we're under right now dictate guys, you need to work it like your hair is on fire. It's a beautiful day. Sit down, write your invitations out. Uh, let's get them practice. I'm available. Anytime today, anybody that wants to call me and practice an invitation. Okay. Y'all uh, have a, a great Saturday today. Let's go. Let's go get them, guys. All right. Thank you.